So that is the concept of postal lintel in this thousand colored, thousand pillared mantabas. Then came the arch. The arch is a western concept to start with. Now it is used all over the world arch. From the arch you have various other forms of arches. You can parabolic arch, elliptical arch, gothic arches. Then this is a gable frame, the arch with uh, columns you can have. Then in the uh, renaissance period in Europe came the concept of the flying buttress. The flying buttress is these arches which come and join here so that the forces do not go outside the base of the building and you have a large arch. When you have when you create an arch to keep the arch in position you have to apply a compression here, compression here. So this compression inside as the reaction goes outside so to keep that this flying buttresses on both sides were introduced. There is a major uh, evolution in structural uh, thinking this flying buttresses. Then came the space frames made out of steel and various metals. Then came in our in the in, the, in our times 1900s the concept of a concrete and grid frame. So now you as as BTEC students in IIT Madras you won't be going through all this that is what I said. This lecture gives you a background of the evolution. You will be straight away starting with concrete frame. The teacher will start and you start with the steel. But you won't have a linkage to how all these things evolved. right? So there is a beautiful story behind all this evolution. Then the concrete frames then came in the 50s and 60s shells. shells. Now the shell is a very, uh, very anybody has a single sheet of paper? One, one sheet of paper which is loose, just A4 sheet. Now shell is a very remarkable uh, uh, structure, yeah one sheet, yeah. See this is, a, this is a, I use this as a plate, plate element. You find I am using, it is not even able to support its own weight, so weak, right? It is not able to support, but once I give it a shape, like this, right, which is what we call a shell. What happens is not only this is little too heavy for it, not only it is able to support its own weight, it is able to support a little live load. The same thing because I gave the shape of the shell and that is a shell structure. So if it is like this plate, it cannot support its own weight, it collapses. But once I give the shape, different types of shapes, a curvature, it can support even a live load. So I do not have the facility here, but I can show that three eggs, raw eggs, the heaviest person in this class can stand and the three raw eggs will support the weight of a, the heaviest person in that class, weighing maybe 100 kilos. I have done the demonstration elsewhere, but here there is no facility. If the egg breaks, you know, I might be taken to task here. So, but it won't break if it's done properly. But that shows the strength of a shell. So the shells are very beautiful. Besides its uh, phenomenal strength, right, which you can learn mathematically when you go into higher semesters, they have the beauty. And the shells is a very big subject by itself. Different forms are there. This is another type of shell. Then new forms generated in the computer using the software like CATIA, etc. The architects develop forms and also using smart structures, right? When an earthquake comes, there are devices by which you can make the building survive, even though it is very thin. So these are all the realms of compu using computer, smart materials. The today very many new things are possible. Next one. So now what we do is we combine architecture, structure, and the material, and the material three together we take a look. So how it evolved with time over 5,000 years. So the pyramid started 5,000 years ago and the concept is stacking and the material is what? Stone. That is the most ancient one. Then we had the Greek, the post and lintel. See here, this is a, the famous Parthenon in Athens. I have seen it myself. It does not look as good. It is deteriorated. Then the, the structural concept is? Postal lintel and the material is 
brick. Brick is also a very ancient material and it is also a current material. Then what happened was the arches, arches evolved, the Roman arches. If you see the Roman arches in reality, it is breathtaking because such a big arch you do not normally see in our country. So similarly the arches, then the flying buttresses Roman again at, the, at about this time cast iron, cast iron started coming and cast iron has too much of carbon in it which makes it brittle compared to steel. In the steel the carbon content is very finely controlled so it becomes ductile right. We do not want any brittle failure but ancients they did not know about the steel it was developed uh, in Germany by Bessemer. Then the significant uh, a uh, milestone in structure came with uh, the Eiffel Tower where Gustav Eiffel assembled this tower from thousands of small parts and the frames and came the steel. So we had stone, brick, cast iron, one minute, stone, brick, cast iron, Roman concrete, steel. Roman concrete is a form of concrete used by the Romans, right. They use a pozzolanic material and formed a material which is similar to a modern concrete but not exactly a modern concrete. Modern concrete is made with Portland cement. So this went from Egyptian to Greek to Roman, Renaissance to steel and from stacking, post and lintel, arches, walls, frying buttresses to frames and the material evolution is stone, brick, cast iron, Roman concrete and steel. Is it clear? Are you able to see the story of the development, the evolution? We are seeing what happened in 5000 years in a matter of few minutes, right. Next one. So from there in 1940, concrete is well established, the theory of concrete design. You have uh, fantastic books explaining how exactly do it. The material, the structural designer gained confidence in the material and he could design 50 to 100 story building using concrete, massive bridges. We developed uh, confidence in the material the methods of design then you would have the skyscrapers in uh, uh, in concrete then also the uh, skyscrapers in steel this is for example CS tower here in fact the steel should also again occur here steel because steel is a competes with concrete for tall structures and then came the, adv the advent of what are called tubular structures these are called frame structures but in this class I cannot go into the differences right. This is what is called, a, this is a concrete structure, this is frame structure, this is a tubular structure which is in the form of tubes. So if you want to go above.